Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will learn together how to book a flight from Singapore Air website. So this is singaporeair.com. We are already inside this website. Get down here and then choose uh, your flight. Okay, so book flights. Okay, this is the first thing here. And from Singapore to where? Let's choose a destination for example let's say from singapore to melbourne uh, real okay uh, okay Melbourne, Australia, and then choose your departure date. For example, I want it from this date to that date. Okay, and you can choose either. It is if you if it's a, a one way flight, you can choose one way flight over here. If it is uh, a round of flight, then you choose departure and return. Then the class choose economy class and you can choose here economy premium economy business or first and the number of the passengers an adult one and you can choose also how many passengers uh, with you one two three four children infants by months children by years so then click search all right Continue. It is loading correctly now. Now it is finishing all the available flights and let's see just a moment And now, as you can see, these are all the flights. First flight, you have to choose the first flight from Singapore to uh, Melbourne. And of course, the price, travel duration, price. Let's check this flight. The price in Singapore currency. Let's change it. Singapore dollar. Okay, so take this number. This is the price in the Singapore dollar. So choose select this flight and economy from Melbourne to Singapore trying to click okay then select so basically this price is for the, the full flight going and returning back all right so this is my first flight from singapore to melbourne and second this is from melbourne to singapore and then this is the fair uh condition okay
So while going from Singapore to Marburg, I have 25 kilograms package and uh, from Melbourne to Singapore I have 30 uh, all right then I'll click here proceed in this section in the next section I'm supposed to start filling my details so the title mister first name last name okay uh this is free the frequent flyer details this is an optional contact email details i'll write my email all right then i'll say i don't have a mobile number okay then i'll click next for seat selection okay let's use a mobile number right yes by whatsapp one two three four five six seven eight nine all right then go mirror okay confirm passenger these are my details and this is my email then i'll click next make sure of course you fill your details correctly write your name as it is in the passport to avoid any confusion while you are doing your check-in Now we are going for the seat selection. You can either select a seat for for a fee or just go for next flight. If you don't want to pay any fee, just click next flight without selecting the seat. And this is from Melbourne to Singapore. You can also do next without selecting the seat. This way, if you are doing it like that, then you don't have to pay extra money for for your uh, for selecting the fee. And once you check in in the airport, you will uh, uh, you will be assigned a seat randomly. If you want to add an insurance, okay. For additional package, you can pay more. If you want to wake, book hotels or something, this is like extra options if you want. So if you don't need any of these, just click next. So this is a very important point because some people think that you have to select the seat in order to make a full booking, but you don't have to select the seat actually. The seat could be assigned randomly once you check in, in the airport without it any need to pay extra money this is like a trick so now we are about to check out this is the total fee as it is described over here in singapore dollars and the conversion to us dollars from singapore to melbourne of course depend on the destination as the price of course will uh, change and then i will pay by uh, credit or a debit card here are the other options so to be paid now here you'll have to enter the uh, okay the name on the credit card your name and then here you will write the credit card number the credit or debit card number either visa or mastercard and here you will write your expiry the expiry date and then the cvv the three numbers the three security numbers uh, in the back of your card and then you will uh, write your billing address over here then after that you will submit click submit 
your acknowledgement of course after filling all this information you will submit your acknowledgement then make payment once you click over make payment a page will appear in front of you a page that will direct you to your bank account and uh, your bank account will send you an OTB one-time password uh, to your phone number and then you will use this one-time password you will enter it you write it in uh, in the writing box inside the page that will appear then you will click confirm and once you click confirm your payment will be generated and your ticket will be purchased then they will send you your ticket to your email and they will keep updating you about your flight uh, through your uh, phone number so this is how you can book a flight through uh, Singapore Airlines.